we're trying to develop a very sensitive and accurate method to detect foodborne pathogen using nanomaterials. It will be a rapid mechanism for the detection of the bacteria by using gold nanoparticles, which are actually magnetic, and also using a spectroscopic techniques for the detection of these pathogens. So we try to improve this process so that eventually we can detect this bacteria very fast, we can detect it with very high sensitivities. And also, most important, you can exactly know what kind of bacteria is in your, in your solution. Typically, in order for people to see if their food has food pathogen in them, you actually have to take your samples, take your food to a lab, and then they will do the testing and then tell you whether you have this or that pathogen. But if you can reduce that time to maybe minutes or even hours, you, know, you can significantly improve the detection. You can, you can know if, 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 there, if this sample is polluted or not very fast. My research is basically on the gold nanoparticles uh, synthesis and also um, establishing the binding of different antibodies and the cells to the gold nanoparticle surfaces. Once the nanoparticles and the antibodies are bounded together, these nanoparticles will help to um, adhere to the bacteria, which later, later can be detected by the laser. So basically by uh, shooting a laser, high intensity laser, onto the sample, we will get a, a response in the form of a spectrum that will tell us a good sample versus a bad sample. Uh, if there is bacteria, we will see a significantly change in the peaks in the spectrum. It's just like, a, you know, the fingerprint of a person, you know, we know that a fingerprint of a person is unique. So this is a, a, a fingerprint version for the chemicals. So for this raw mass spectroscopy, you know, for example here, so this peak is unique, it's just like a fingerprint of a person. So this peak is unique for the chemical substances you can tell exactly what is that chemical in your solutions. To me, what's really exciting is working with physicists and working with chemical engineers and learning how they think and how they analyze situation and what methods they use is really exciting. And also the students get exposed to a variety of research fields where they get to learn and collaborate with other graduate students from engineering and science, which is a unique perspective.